Hello and welcome friends. Last time we have seen the hyperbola by directrix focus method. And today we will see this hyperbola by other method that is called rectangular method. Now as per the problem, we are supposed to draw a hyperbola passing through point P and point P is given 40 mm away from the asymptotes that is what axis x axis and y axis so here we are required to draw a curve a hyperbola curve which can be passed through this point P so to plot point P the very first of all we need x axis and y axis so we will draw two perpendicular lines like that is they are called x axis and y axis now as we know this is x axis we can measure 40 mm on x axis and similarly we can measure 40 mm on y axis now with the help of this measurement on x axis and y axis we can locate point p easily which is 40 mm away from x axis and 40 mm away from y axis. So here we get point P through which the hyperbola curve can pass. Now to draw a hyperbola curve passing through point P, we will divide this vertical and horizontal line from point P over x axis and y axis into equal number of parts as the vertical line from point P over x axis is already 40 mm so we can divide this line into 4 equal parts as well so I will divide this line into 4 equal parts similarly the horizontal line drawn over y axis that can also be divided into 4 equal parts right I have named these points as 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. Now we will be extending this horizontal line and vertical line beyond point P as well. So very first of all I am going to draw a line joining point 0 and point 1 on vertical line and we will be extending that line till it crosses that horizontal line. Similar way O to 2, O to 3 till it crosses the extended line. The way we uh, drawn the lines from O to 1, similarly we will draw another line O to 1 on horizontal line now. And that line will extend till it crosses that vertical line beyond point V. So here we are getting 6 more new points on vertical axis and horizontal axis beyond point P. We will name these points 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash and on that vertical line 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. Now to get these certain points through which we can draw a curve, we will be drawing the lines, straight lines from these respective points. We will draw vertical lines from these respective points like from 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. Similarly, we have other 3 points 1, 2, 3. So we, from those 3 respective points, we will draw horizontal line towards the right. And wherever these 3 lines will meet that previous 3 one, we get 3 more new points here. The way we constructed the vertical line and horizontal line from 1 dash and 1, 2 dash and 2, 3 dash and 3 we will draw similar lines on left hand side as well on left hand side horizontal line 1 2 3 we will draw straight vertical lines there and then from 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash we will start drawing horizontal line towards the left now wherever these lines will meet we get again 3 more new points and this way we get the locus through which we can draw a curve. Once you get all these points, now you can pass or you can draw a smooth curve which can pass through all these points. 
and this curve is called a hyperbola. So friends, this is hyperbola which we can draw with the help of rectangular method. We have already seen the hyperbola by directed focus method as well. So I hope you understood it. So that's it for hyperbola by rectangular meter. Thanks.